We've also heard a lot of warnings for people heading to the beaches this weekend. Officials pleading with folks to keep their distance or wear masks as they gather on Central Florida's shores. And as News 6's Amanda Castro explains, one Volusia County city actually had to shut down access to the beach before 9 o'clock this morning. The American flag waves in the ocean breeze. People packing New Smyrna Beach for the 4th of July celebrating patriotism during the coronavirus pandemic. They're not having fireworks tonight, and we decided, well, we'll spend the day at the beach. Barbara Munholland and her family joining other beachgoers who are soaking up the sun on Independence Day. New Smyrna Beach police tweeting the beaches between Flagler and Crawford Avenues reached capacity and closed by 8.30 Saturday morning. Volusia County Beach Patrol monitoring the crowds, making sure vehicles are parked at conservation poles to keep them spaced apart. Munholland says despite the large gathering, she feels safe spending her holiday on the sand. I stay my distance. I wash my hands all the time and um, I'm just with my family and we even stay our distance. But other beachgoers like Steve Atkins disagree, saying many people aren't being safe. We're just really kind of appalled at uh, no social distancing, no mask. This week, city leaders passed a resolution requiring residents and visitors to wear face coverings in public to stop the spread of COVID-19. But we're told it won't be enforced by police and there aren't any penalties for noncompliance. Our cases have gone up here and, you know, we're just we're just nervous because all the people coming in from wherever they come from. Despite the pandemic, Manhollan says she's not going to let COVID-19 change her holiday plans. This doesn't bother me. No, that doesn't bother me at all. No, no, not in any way. I'm not going to let it bother me <laughs> one way or the other. In New Smyrna Beach, Amanda Castro getting results. New 6.